kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome to something I have been trying to get off the ground for a long, long time but I just needed a few things to go my way and it seems like at least at the start, knock on wood, it seems like at the start things have, have gone my way, things have fallen in place. So what I mean by that is today... We are ushering in a new era of Madden football. And no, I don't mean a different era of mod. I mean a whole new era of Madden football. Forget what you know about the NFL. Think of this as the men in black little click thing that erases your memory. Because the NFL doesn't exist. They're, they never existed. It has always and forever been the Woj FL. The World of Juice Football League. Yeah. That's right. We're doing this. So, I have relocated every NFL team, NFL team, to a new place, given every single player other jobs. Patrick Mahomes is working construction. Travis Kelsey's bagging groceries. Lamar Jackson flying airplanes, whatever he wants to do. Whatever these NFL players want to do in their lives, they can go and do. Because they're not playing football anymore. We've got a whole new world here in the Woj FL. And I am super, super excited to get this started. And yes, I have determined that we are probably going to be playing games again in this series. Not just play the moments games, actual games in the series. Back like I used to do with the Cougars with the Barons and with the Dragons, we're probably going to be playing some actual games in this series. And yes, I say series because this is going to hopefully be the main thing that I do on this channel for a little bit now. Because obviously the rebuilds are still going to be huge. Those aren't going to go away. And the rebuild series aren't going to go away either. But I want, I've been, I've been trying to get this to go for a while. I tried to think, I thought about doing it on Madden 23, but it just never really worked and I couldn't mod anything in Madden 23. So it just, it was never going to be what I wanted it to be. But now with Madden 24 being able to be modded and I've been able to add these different relocation jerseys in, we've added more variety to the jerseys and stuff. I feel like I finally got what I wanted, uh, for the most part, obviously, it's still not exactly what I wanted because the limitations on customization, even with the mods. But it's it's right up there with what I envisioned in my head. So, without further ado, it's time to introduce the world to the World of Juice Football League. I hope you guys go on to enjoy if you do, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, come along for the ride, pick your favorite team. It doesn't have to be the team that I'm going to be using. And I'm not even saying that I'm going to stick with the same team throughout the entirety of the series. This could be a, a, a series where I float between, between different teams every couple of years. And then we get to see different uniform combinations. We get to see different custom players and all that kind of stuff. And speaking of custom players... If you guys want to be a part of this series and you want to be in a custom draft class, leave a comment down below giving me the name that you want to use, the height, the weight, the position that you want to use, and maybe the college that you want to be from down in the comment section and in a future draft class, you can be a part of it. This is not just about me, this is about the community as well. You guys can be a part of the Woj FL if you just leave a comment giving me those specific um, criteria 
and then I'll add you into a draft class, and you can be in the Woj FL in an upcoming season. But like I said, this isn't a, a one-team series. I'm not going to just be one team the entire time. Well, I don't have to be one team. I, I could stay one team if we're having a lot of success, but maybe I want to jump ship. Ship? And go to another team and rebuild them. And then go to another team and rebuild them. All of these possibilities are on the table in the Woj FL. Anything is possible in the Woj FL. So I hope you guys come along for the ride. I hope you guys are excited. And let's go meet every single team that we have on board. Here is a little sneak peek of what we have in store for you today. So you can see that two teams already have been relocated. As you can tell, all 32 former NFL teams have been relocated. Basically, you can think of this as the main timeline of the NFL, and then we just go shoot off into a little branch where it's the, the Woj FL, and there's n Tom Brady never existed, Patrick Mahomes never existed, Calvin Johnson, Randy Moss, none of your favorite legendary players ever existed in this branch timeline. This has always and forever been the Woj FL. It was never the NFL, it was always the Woj FL. So think of it like that, if that helps. So here we are. I do want to point something out as we go through the teams. So... I wanted to, pretty much you would you would expect it to, to be similar to the NFL in a way where all the teams in each division are close in vicinity to each other. I tried to make that as close as possible. Obviously, there are some limitations with the relocation options you get in Madden. So, I tried to make it as close as possible so that teams aren't traveling all around the world just for divisional games. So, let's talk about the AFC North. We've got the Canton Aviators, we've got the St. Louis Blues, the Columbus Caps, and the Louisville Condors. That is your new, or always has been, AFC North. I'm super excited about this. Then we've got ourselves the AFC South, which has the Mexico City Golden Eagles, it has the Houston Oilers, it has the San Juan Orbits, and it has our team, the Orlando Wizards. And you'll see why I chose the Orlando Wizards in a little bit when I show you the uniforms. The AFC East. Now this one gets a little international. The Paris Black Knights, the London Monarchs, the Brooklyn Sentinels, not international, and then the Dublin Shamrocks. That is correct. We've got three international teams and then the Brooklyn Sentinels. I kind of feel bad for them because I didn't put every team internationally in the AFC East. But I didn't really think that having Tokyo or having Melbourne would be fair either. So the, there's very limitation. There's a lot of limitations when you go across the pond in Madden. So... The Brooklyn Sent Sentinels were the closest team in the East to go out over to uh, the old world, basically. So that is our AFC East. AFC West, the final division in the AFC, has the Oklahoma City Bison, the Sacramento Desperados, the Tokyo Dragons, and the San Diego Voyagers. So that is your AFC Conference in the Woj FL. Heading to the NFC, we've got the NFC North with the Omaha Bulls. Omaha! Then we've got the Toronto Huskies, the Montreal Lumberjacks, and the Chicago Nighthawks. That is your NFC North. The NFC South is the Honolulu Antlers, and I will explain this one. I chose the Honolulu Antlers simply because I had run out of teams. I didn't have any other team. I had given everybody else a location or a, a, a team name before I got to Honolulu. And I know that Antlers have no no history with Honolulu. They have no connection to Hawaii at all. But I didn't have any other choice. So the, the Honolulu Antlers, that's probably bad planning on my part. But it is what it is. The Honolulu Antlers are the team. Then we've got the San Antonio Armadillos. We've got the Albuquerque Elks. 
and we've got the Austin Steamers. So, <laughs> I love that name. So the NFC South is put together. The NFC East is compiled of the Virginia Beach Dreadnoughts, the Melbourne River Hogs, another international team, but like I said in, with the AFC East, Melbourne and Tokyo really didn't fit in with London, Paris, and Dublin, so I had to put them somewhere, and they go here. The River Hogs are in the NFC East, along with the Rio de, de Janeiro Thunderbirds and the Memphis Tigers. This is a very, very internationally flavored division, if you will. It's it's going to be pretty fun to see this te these divisions go after it, especially that one. And the final division is composed of the Vancouver Mounties, the Portland Pioneers, the Oakland Redwoods, and the Anchorage Snowhawks. We've got teams spanning the entire world in the Woj FL. We are a very diverse football league. But now you've met the teams, let's meet the players. Are you excited? We will start by meeting our team, the Orlando Wizards. Here is the team. We've got players of all nationalities. We've got players of all skin colors. We've got players of every corner of the globe. So let's meet the team. Starting with one of three starting quarterbacks we will have in this team. It is Smooth Jazz Kenny G, Kenny George. Disregard the experience uh, when I downloaded the the custom fake roster to start with a base for to create the roster. Uh, the experiences were all kind of jacked up and stuff, so just forget about the the experience. That doesn't really matter. But we've got ourselves a 23 year old six foot six X Factor quarterback who can't really do too much well except for run the football. He has 94 speed, 91 excel, 89 agility, 85 change of direction. He's got a little bit of an arm, 91 throw power, but his he's basically just kind of good at, a, at everything, except for speed. He's obviously really, really good at running the football, but he's not going to be one to chuck one 70 yards down the field. A guy that could chuck one 70 yards down the field is the 29-year-old Isaiah Cannon, and his name is very fitting. 96 throw power, 94 deep accuracy, and he's also a lefty, fun fact. So this man is a statue in the pocket. He can't really throw medium or short, but if you need a ball thrown 82 yards down the field, this man is the guy for the job. So Isaiah Cannon is on the Orlando Wizards as, a, as the backup quarterback. And not really a backup, because all three of these guys could swap in and out depending on the situation that we need during a game and then the final quarterback is the youngster Xander Young from Arkansas 24 years old this man is a jack of all trades he can throw the ball he can run the ball he can catch the ball maybe if he needs to he can basically do everything you need to think of him as a more modern day Taysom Hill type player he can do pretty much whatever you need him to do he'll get in there he'll run the football for you he'll get in there and pass the football for you he'll do whatever he needs to do to get on the field that's the kind of player Xander Young is so he is our third quarterback on the roster heading to the running backs we've got ourselves Speed McCree and when I say speed I mean speed 98 speed, 98 excel, 97 agility with 94 juke, 93 spin. He can't really do much else other than run. <laughs> he's got little break tackle. He can't truck anybody. He's not going to overpower you. He's just going to run right by you. And that may be what we need. That might work out for us. His backup is going to be Lamar Ferguson the fourth, a 27-year-old out of USF. Five foot nine, and this man will run you over. If Speed McCree is not going to run you over, then my main man, Lamar Ferguson IV, will run you over. But that is not it. We've got ourselves TJ Scott, who is a little bit mixture of both of them. Now, he's not the, the power back that Ferguson IV is, but he's got a little bit of speed. He's got a little bit of of power in the strength 73 not too great but he's a more of a pass catching running back he's the 
the Christian McCaffrey if Christian McCaffrey was only a receiving back. <laughs> He's basically going to catch you a lot of passes. If you send him on little angle routes, Texas routes, all kinds of stuff like that out of the backfield, he's going to be the guy for that situation. So that is what TJ Young brings to the table. And then we got maybe my favorite player on offense, Tank Barber from Auburn. And this man, if you thought Lamar Ferguson was going to run you over, this man will run you to the ground. He will take you down and he will not apologize for it. Plus, he is quite the blocking fullback. He is quite the blocking fullback. He can he can throw a block with the best offense alignment in the league. So Tank Barber will be our fullback on this squad. So that takes care of the backfield. Let's move on to the wide receivers. First up, we've got MVP Marquez Vontel Porter, 26-year-old out of Tejas. A&M, Texas A&M, and he can basically do whatever you want at receiver. He is a six foot two, big body guy. He will go up and get it, and he will run by you after he's got it. So that's why he's MVP. But his running mate is a man named Tyreek Lawson from Alabama, and he will certainly run by you. 98 speed, 99 acceleration. This man is a burner. He will he will be like that cartoon back in the day, the Roadrunner cartoon, where he just runs right by you and leaves the smoke trail behind him. That's what Tyreek Lawson is all about. And of course, you knew that we were gonna have to have a white receiver. Parker Peters, five foot nine. Think of him as a more evolved Julian Edelman, Danny Amendola, Cooper Cup, whoever you want as your white receiver to be. This is a more evolved version of that. And he's going to be our slot guy, get dirty, get in the middle of the field and take some shots. That's the guy that Parker Peters is. But also, we've got a man by the name of Benny Button. 28 years old, 315 pounds, and 7 feet tall. You can't teach that. Benny Button is a true 7 foot monster on the football field. He's not the best at really anything, but he's 7 foot tall. So that is a mismatch for literally everything in the in the Woj FL. There's nobody that can guard this man. And you may be wondering, Juice, why is he not a tight end? Why is he not on the offensive line? Because he wanted to play receiver. I'm not going to deny this man his dream. So he's our fourth receiver. We've also got a couple of youngsters like Hanley Gomez, who is pretty good. 77 overall, he's got the speed, but he can't really do much else other than run, which is pretty nice. And then we've got Reggie Ramirez, who is also decently fast and good at catching, but doesn't really have amazing route running or anything like that, but they're a little bit lower down on the totem pole. That takes care of our skill position players other than the tight end. We've got Edinson Yarborough, who is a 6'3", 28-year-old tight end out of Ole Miss, and he, my, my friends, is quite the catching tight end. 88 overall. I'm very excited to use him. Behind him, we've got Walker Hardly Knower. That is the main man behind Yarborough. And he's pretty similar to Yarborough, but he, he does his own things pretty well. And then the third tight end on this list is maybe my favorite name of all, Harrison Boosh. That is right out of the... Ohio State University, and he is kind of an all-around tight end. He's not going to be the greatest pass catcher. He's not going to be run right by you, but he can he can throw a block if he needs to, and he can run some routes. So he's kind of the, the do-it-all tight end, if you think about it. So that takes care of officially all the skill position players onto the offensive line, and this is where it gets fun. We've got two cornerstone tackles, one on the left side, named King Queen from Alabama, 6'6", 335, and this man is not to be trifled with. He is quite the blocking ta tackle. He will he will block you into the dirt just like uh, Tank Barber will run you into the dirt. 
and his running mate on the right side is Omir Oluwatimi. 32 years old, a veteran of the game. He's been around the Woj FL for a while, but he is quite the stud at right tackle. Now, these guys are a little bit older, so maybe we need to replace them in the future, but for right now, these two tackles are the future. Then in the interior, we've got Sergei Fedovsky, straight out of the Ukraine. That's right. He's from Ukraine. I know that it says he's from Abilene Christian. That is not true. He is from the Ukraine. See, when he came over from the Ukraine, he needed to put a college down. And the first college that he was told to put down was Abilene Christian, and he did it. So, maybe he's here illegally. That's not for me to tell. As long as he can play football, I don't really care what he does in his personal life and what kind of problems or non-problems he's having in his personal life. If he's here to play football, then that's all that really matters in the Woj FL. So, Sergey Fedovsky is our starting center. Then we've got the two guards. Oscar Kendrick, who is a nice veteran to have on this offensive line. And then on the right side, we've got Percy Usebeth out of St. John's, who can really do it all, but not good at one specific thing. He's kind of a jack of all trades on the offensive line. We got a couple backups, mainly uh, Hercules Emerson, 21 year old young quarterback, not quarterback, young left tackle out of Oklahoma as the backup possible replacement for one of the two tackles that we have. Then we've got Tyree Johnson, who is a backup right guard possibly taking over for the veteran oscar kendrick that's also a possibility we've got jason tyler who is a little bit older at center but still younger than um some of the guys on the offensive line and then to wrap it up we've got howie jones at right guard and we've got uh theodore bear as our backup right tackle who also has a good shot of being a replacement for oluwatimi so now that you've met, oh, and I, I don't even, I didn't even mention David Amerson, uh, Anderson Jr., who was also on the team. <laughs> I didn't want to forget him. Now that you've met the entire offense, let's go and meet the defense, because there are some fun, fun players on this defense. Let's just start up here with the, the linebacker, because this might be my favorite player in the entire team. It is Brick Law, and he is certainly living up to the name, because this man is angry. He is not a happy man. He didn't have a good childhood. He didn't have loving parents. All he wanted to do is get on the football field and hurt people. And that is exactly what he is going to do. He's got the power to knock your soul out of your body. And he is our captain on defense. Then, we've got Smoke Morrison, young very talented corner 94 speed he can cover with the best of them he is going to be a star on this team we've also got another one of my favorite players trey watts from joja who is a edge rusher who will get to the quarterback like the best of them he is speedy and he is ferocious he will move offensive linemen at will he will get to the quarterback without any regard for human life and then jabari sims not necessarily as talented as trey watts he's more of the finesse guy he's gonna get to the quarterback but not through brute force but through strategic movements and mind games he's gonna outsmart the offense lineman to get to the quarterback that's the kind of player that jabari sims is and then we've got the backup to, I say backup, the second linebacker to Brick Law is Dallas Mayo. And Dallas Mayo is kind of an all-around linebacker. He can kind of see all the field. He's kind of the, think of him as the brain behind Brick Law's brawn, basically is how you think about that. This guy, he's going to see the field. He's going to see the plays before they happen. And Brick Law, he's going to tell him to go. He's like a attack dog. Just Dallas Mayo will send the command and Brick Law will go after him. That's kind of the relationship that those two have. That's why they work so well together on the linebacking core. The backups to them, we've got Victor Usama II, 
who is a nice young player. He's got some promise. He just needs to develop a little bit more. On the outside with him, we've also got Abraham Washington, who is also has a little bit of promise, but needs a lot more development than uh, Usama II does. And then over on the right side, we've got Tevin Prince, who, fun fact, has an identical twin brother who is also on this team that we'll meet in a couple seconds. So Tevin Prince is a right outside linebacker that I'm very excited to have on this team because he can really, really do a lot of damage. I like him a lot. He's backing up Trey Watts. And then we've got a legendary man who I think may become a channel favorite. We've got Mr. Dick Free on the team and dick free well dick free can basically do whatever he wants he is kind of like the young veteran captain if you think about it like he's he's only 24 years old but he's he's got wisdom he's very wise dick free very 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 wise guy he's he's going to inspire people and he's gonna give great advice basically he's he's kind of like a locker room legend if you think about it. And the backups to the two middle linebackers, we've got Desmond Perry, who is pretty good. 24 years old out of Flow Rider. And then we've got the other backup, which is Cooper Davidson from Wyoming, who is a pretty good player, but maybe not we'll see the field too much because we've got pretty good linebackers ahead of him. So now you've met the entire linebacking core. Let's meet the defensive line. First up, you got Boogie Richardson, 28 years old from Illinois, and Boogie will get to the quarterback. He will pass rush your life. He will get to the quarterback. And his running mate on the other side is Jadeveon Carter from Oklahoma State, who, despite not having a development trait, has quite the skill set to pair alongside Boogie Richardson. And then in the middle... In between Boogie and Jadeveon, we got ourselves Tavon Johnson from the Ohio State University. And this man will run stuff and also get to the quarterback. He's basically the do-it-all uh, D-tackle. He is the quintessential interior defensive lineman. Backing up these guys, you've got Sergio Benavitez from UTEP, who is pretty solid backup, a very, very manageable, very capable guy in his own right. And we've also got... Randall Kelly, who very well could take the spot of one of the two guys, Jadavion Carter or Boogie Richardson, very easily. If he develops a little bit more than what he already is, you could see him maybe even in an interior defensive line role because he's, he's a pretty hefty guy. He doesn't like to talk about his weight too much, but he's a pretty hefty guy. We've also got Aaron Aronson, veteran, been around the league, seen a lot of things, done a lot of things that he may or may not be proud of, but he ends up here in Orlando to help this team try to get a championship. We've also got Orlando Franks the third, 27 year old from Oregon, who I like a lot. He's got a lot of potential. He is only, he's 27 already, but he does have a lot of potential. Could see him make some strides in the future. The interior of the defensive line is filled with guys like Winston Davis from North Kakalaki. Love to see it. He's here alongside one of my favorites, Everson Richmond. 89 strength. He's a, he's a mauler. He's going to power you. He may not be the biggest D-tackle. 6'3", 280. That's not a D-tackle build. But that's where he gets you. He's the master of illusion. The master of disguise. He's, he can play wherever you need him to play. He's an ar a Swiss Army knife. And you may or may not get up to to tell the tale after getting tackled by Everson Richmond. So now you've met the linebacking core and the defensive line. Let's meet the secondary. You've already met Smoke Morrison. Let's meet Howard Woodson from UAB, 30-year-old veteran. He's got a little bit of a baby face. You may think he's he's 22, but he's a veteran. He's been around the league. People have dubbed him the babyface assassin because he looks innocent and he looks approachable. But then when he gets on the football field, he will tear your face from your skull and he will wear it as a mask to cover himself. That's how vicious Howard Woodson is. And he will also pick the football off. 
backing them up. Of course, we had to recruit a white corner because this is the Woj FL and white corners are all you need for success. Brady Montana is here, 86 overall, pretty fast, pretty good at everything. He's going to be a good corner for us, and he may even make a Woj All-Pro team. You never know. He may. He may. I'm just saying. He might. We've also got one of the fastest men to ever exist on planet Earth is Flash Wilson. 98 speed, 98 excel, 97 agility. He may not be good at covering, but he will run past a receiver with the best of them. This man is fast, and that's why he's been dubbed the Flash. He is so fast. And then, don't forget about Kentaro Fujiyama. 27 year old from California, by way of Tokyo. My main man can do a lot of good stuff. He's got the speed to keep up with the best receivers. He's got the coverages to keep up with the best receivers. He can also play out play you just basically by physical play. Like he can push you and he can do whatever he wants. He's got the mind games. He can do whatever he needs to do to get the football. Those are your corners. Let's meet the safety. Starting with Tevin Prince's brother, Tyler Prince. 23 years old from Norfolk State, just like Tevin Prince. They got the same face, they came from the same mama, and they can play football very, very well. Tyler Prince is a good free safety. He can basically, if he needs to, think of him as a center fielder in baseball. He will cover that back half of the, of the defense. He will cover 60, 70 yards if he has to. That's the kind of player Tyler Prince is. That's the kind of determination and work ethic that he has. His backup is Austin Miles, 26-year-old from BYU. And you know, you know those BYU Mormons get pretty crazy. And Austin Miles is no different. He is quite the backup free safety. He could start on a lot of different teams in the Woj FL, but he chose to be here in Orlando. We've also got a man by the name of Jackson Michael. <laughs> and he is going to run through you. He can't really do anything else, but he will run through you. And not by power, just by pure speed. He will just run right through you like, uh, like just, just run right through your body, basically. That's, that's, that's all he needs to do. So those are the free safeties. Then we move to the strong safeties, and you got yourself Storm McKinley out of Miami. He's from the U, and he is good. He is a hitting strong safety. He is a hard hitter. He will hurt you, just like Brick Law will hurt you. But not as vicious as Brick Law. He will hurt you, though. He's not going to mend words. He's not going to make friends on the football field. He's not going to switch jerseys with teammates or with opposing players after the game. He's going to hurt you and get a paycheck. Then we've got Juice Thompson. We had to have the Juice on the squad, even though the Juice is at the behind the scenes as the coach and general manager we had to have juice thompson as a player he's a very good player pretty solid not he's kind of think of him as like the lesser but still good version of storm mckinley he can basically do everything that storm can do just not as well he's like the second tier basically and then the final man on the team is walter black from auburn very good player. He will pursue you like the devil. He will stick to you like crazy. That's the kind of player that he is. So now you've met the entire team. Let's show you why I chose the Orlando Wizards in the first place. Let's start up a game and take a look at the jerseys. These are why I chose the Orlando Wizards. The official aways. Look how clean that is. The all-whites with the white helmet. The little accents of purple and gold on it. Looks very nice. The alternates. <laughs> the all-golds with the gold helmet. Mm. The little purple accent makes me want to come. I love it. And then the official home. You had to have a purple. It looks so good. We got the purple helmet. The all-purple stuff. But that's... Not the, not even the best part. 
because we can throw some combinations out there like the away jerseys with the home helmets or we can have the away helmet with the home jerseys or we can have the alternate helmet with the home jerseys like there's so many different combinations that we can have here we can throw in the gold helmet and the gold pants with the purple jerseys there's so many different combinations so this is why i chose the orlando wizards and if we go and see the dreadnoughts they got some pretty decent uniforms too uh, they only have three different ones because only a few different teams have been adjusted with the mod and you already know one of them which is the uh, Desperados because the Desperados are a team that I'm using in another series the Desperados have a different jersey uh, a couple different variations of jerseys there's a few teams that do I think it's the the Bison uh, the Desperados obviously the Wizards have different jerseys um who else who else? there's a there's a few other teams i think the snowhawks might be updated um there's a few different teams i can't remember exactly the lumberjacks might have some different options i'm not 100 sure uh i know that shamrocks the shamrocks for sure have different jerseys so now that you've met our team and you've gotten to know them and maybe you've chosen some favorite players of your own let's meet the rest of the league so let's learn about some of the top players in the Woj FL. First up, you've got Jeremiah McClendon, a 99 overall, 20-year-old quarterback from the Desperados. And this man is just the best. Look at these, these stats. He is quite the quarterback. He is, he is quite the quarterback. Next up, you've got Penn Brady, 26-year-old X-Factor from the condors and he's maybe not as good of a pure passer as mcclendon is but he's got a little bit more athleticism than jeremiah mcclendon sean presley up next from tcu he plays for the sentinels and he is a a pretty good passer of the football as well also can do a little bit of running as well tim payton from the shamrocks is a very very good thrower of the football also that 99 awareness pretty solid but he's kind of a statue in the pocket tom pennington what a rivalry this is gonna be tom pennington and tim payton battling for the starting job in dublin i don't know who's gonna win that job mike stegenberger steigenberger i don't know how to pronounce his name but i don't know if i need to because he's going to not give me a chance to he's gonna be proving it on the field rather than having me produce, uh, pronounce his name correctly because he's quite a good quarterback. Quite a good quarterback. Aaron Greenford, Mike Stoneridge, Brent Townsend, Jet Carve. We've got some good talent at the quarterback spot here. Jalen Manuel is an X-Factor, 25 years old, playing for the Thunderbirds. And he is uh, he's a very good player. He can throw and he can run. So he gives even Smooth Jazz a little bit of uh, competition there. So... We will learn through the series some of these players and maybe throughout the time you guys can pick your favorite players outside of our team that you may like. Uh, starting running back, the best running back in the Woj FL is a rookie from Alabama, Herschel Gates. This man is a running back. If you were to build a running back in a lab, it would probably look like Herschel Gates. This man is the pure definition of a running back he can't catch the football and he can't block for you but if you want him to run the football that is what he will do herschel gates is quite the player then obviously we have speed mccree who's on our team jovan tyler from fordham playing for the aviators is a good player similar build similar player to herschel gates just a little bit worse but still a good player then you got Deshaun Henry who is 5'10 220 and this man is powerful he's very very fast but also 97 break tackle he's not gonna go down very easily Christian Adai is also here and this man I'm pretty sure is talented just by looking at him talented he's not gonna run you over but he's a talented player and he's probably one of the best pass catching running backs in the league devon westbrook playing for the houston oilers quite the player as well very very good 99 stiff arm he's not going to go down very easily either he's going to stiff arm the crap out of a lot of players 
Terrence Hartke comes up next, playing for the River Hogs out of Penn State. And this man is very thick. That's a thick boy. And he is going to run the football with the best of them. The best fullback in the league is obviously Tank Barber. No surprise there. The best running back in the league, best wide receiver in the league, excuse me, is Jalen Thompson playing for the Bulls. And Jalen Thompson is the quintessential wide receiver. 98 catching. He's only six foot one, so maybe on the little bit short side. But Jalen Thompson can run every route you want to give him. Smart as heck. And will be more athletic than basically 99% of people out on the field. Jalen Thompson, there's a reason he's the best wide receiver in the league. Coden Hilton II, a little bit of a veteran, but 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 97 ball carrying vision. I mean, this man is fast. If you want to talk about Speed McCree or Flash Wilson or Tyreek being fast, then you got to put Coden Hilton II in that conversation as well. Darnell Jerry Sweeter II is also playing for the Dragons. So 90 speed, but he's a route runner. He's not the fastest guy in the world, but you don't need him to be the fastest guy in the world if you're throwing routes to him. If you're, you're calling him out, he's going to be a good receiver for you. You've also got guys like B. Diddy Gale, who is a rookie from Abilene Christian with the 99 speed, and he's a very, very talented young receiver, very excited, very promising young future does B. Diddy Gale have. Riley Austin's also here. Steve Wilson is here. Ja'Cory Crispy is playing for the Tigers. You got Jad Jardarius? Jadarius. Oh, it's, it's Jadarius. That's what it is. Jadarius Burrow also playing for the Condors. There's some good players in this league. We will meet them as we go. But there are some very, very play pl good players in this league. Mo Long Knox is the best tight end in the league. But keep in mind, he is 33 years old. So he's, he's not long for this world, but he's a good tight end still. He is a veteran in this league. Jerry Jitt Jr., Triple J. Next up on the list, unbelievable talent at tight end. Very, very good player. Steph Quest comes in next for the Columbus Caps. And this man is really good at catching the football. Really, really good at catching the football. Then you got Matt Mulder. They got a one-two punch in Columbus. They're going to be very, very dangerous. TJ Stalker, Dane Gilberts. There's Edison Yarborough, Kyle Yancey, Donovan Presley, Darren Bobby. Walker Hardly Knower is also up here. Left tackle. The best left tackle in the league is a veteran. Carson Dilford from Oklahoma. Superstar development. And this man might, they're, they might be the best line, uh, offensive lineman in the entire Woj FL because... Those stats are crazy. Then you got Gino Von Den Dobelstein. <laughs> quite the name. And he's quite the player. Quite the player is Von Den Dobelstein. Mike Laramie's here. Andrew Hugh, Huey. Chris Hodgins. Curtis Grandsteed. Ronnie Tucker. David Beal. Tyrone Jones, Jordan Leroy, Colton Jenkins, Rashawn Singleton are just to name a few. Left guard, Frant Welker. Yeah, I said that right. Frant Welker playing for the Steamers. Very good interior offensive lineman. Venice Neal Nellis. Venice Nellis. Excuse me. <laughs> Some of these names are a little hard to pronounce. Venice Nellis is here. Joel Brewer, Joe Thermal, Elton Devins. Oscar Kendrick, our guy, Landon Docks, Percy Usbeth, Ben Lynn, Lakin North, Tevin Perry, just to name a couple. The best center in the league is Jason Worth, Creed Mackin, uh, Mackin Josh, <laughs> Corey Chaz, Sergey Fedovsky, Frank Jeremy, Ryan Almonte, David Dam, Tyler Chandler, Connor McDougal, Jason Tyler, Ted D'Angelo. Those are some of the best centers in the league. And the best player in Woj FL, this is the best player in all of the Woj FL, is Tanner Bell. He is a 20-year-old from Notre Dame, and you can see just why he's the best player in all of the Woj FL. I mean, he's got 99s across the board, and the Armadillos have him. So we're going to be in trouble if we have to play the Armadillos. 
Ryan Johnette, Ryland Johnette, excuse me, is the next up. Then Wyatt Hunters, Mike Warsaw, Kevin Winsford, Shaq Flax, Trey Lenny, Tyree Johnson, James Reed, Howie Jones, Austin Hickory, Alex January, Elijah Kiltownson. That's a long name. Elijah Kiltownson. Uh, Robert Stevens, Quinn Ellis, just to name a couple of the best guys in the league. And then the best right tackle in the league is Larry Tanley playing for the Thunderbirds. You've also got Omir Oluwatimi, veteran of the league. Uh, Ryan Tyrons, Brian Al Alfelix. Man, some of these names I'm, I'm seeing for the first time. Uh, Pene Daniels, Taylor Dumble, Rob Underwood, Braden McMarcus, Theodore Bear, Bo Roberts, Mike Dowell. So we've met the entire offense in the league. Let's meet some of the best defensive players. Tyrell Kelvins, playing for the Aviators, 27 years old, and this man is good. There's not really many more words you can use to describe him because he's better than all those words you can think of. 98 power moves. He's a thick boy, and he will run through you to get to the quarterback. Jadavion Tompkins Jr., then you got Jadevion Carter, Cameron, Cameron, Diamond, D Demo, Demon, Dimon? I don't know. <laughs> Boogie Richardson, Chase Lee, Randall Kelly, Zadarius Burton, Greg Griffith, John House, Aiden Kleinhauser, Danico Adams, Brandon Blittle, Zach Robbins. Best right in the league is Tate Garrett playing for the Redwoods. He went to Pace University. And this man is just all around really, really good. He might even be better than the other guy that we took a look at. Dom Dawson's here, then Quentin Johnson, Von Hughes, Cameron Von Hooser, Hoosier from Ohio State. Okay. Dom Till, Trey Matthew, yeah, Trey Matthews, Christian Brooks, Grady Pat, Calais Jimenez, Derek Horp, Josh Stripes, Sergio Benavitez, Montez Swanson, Leonard Chester. Best D tackle in the league is Raynard Walls. Reynard Walls, Derek Phelps, Renard Hampton, uh, Dan Allen, Vita Velcro, DJ Homez, Hamez could be, Kenny Burt, DeForest Andons, Tavon Johnson, Grover Gomez, Javon Moore, Deron Bolger, Michael Elliott, Eric Thread, Ed Baldwin, just to name a couple of them. So now we get to the linebackers. You got Crosby Hoffman, Tyler James Ryans, Joel Benose, or Benos. Jabari Sims, Han Carson, Martin Gooden, Rashawn Terry, Brian Brahms, Danelle Johnson, Shaquille Weldom, Victor Usama II, Ryan DeLong, Frankie Gunthery. There's some good guys in here. Shaquille Youngblood is also in here. Then the best middle linebacker in the league is obviously Brick Law. No surprise there. He put fear if the, the fear of God into everybody else to make him the best linebacker in the league, basically. Fred Foster, Brick Wall as well. He's got a he's got a, a close relative. You got Brick Wall and you got Brick Law. <laughs> very close relatives. They're not related, but they're very close relatives. Ray Ken Smothers, Devontae Miller, Drake Lowe's, Bobby Terrell, Nick Scotty, Dallas Mayo, Tremaine Burke, Devondre Fernandez, Eric Gilbert, CJ Gardner, Jawan Benz, Shaq Umbridge, and Leighton Bobby. Then the best right outside linebacker in the league is Trey Watts, Tevin Prince, Matt McDonald, Dre Bradford, Khalil Minshew, Logan Gillis, Jalen Webster, Alex Lifesmith, TJ Norman, Chandler Jackson, Josh Altoid, and Harold Winters. The best corner in all of the Woj FL is Chris Keller. Let's take a little bit of a peek at Chris Keller. 28 years old, and this man can cover with the best of them. He might, he, he might really be the best corner in all of football. That's crazy. Then you got Jared Jefferson, Patrick Asante, Smoke Morrison, Shosh, Sauce Revan, Fike Killens, <laughs> Darius Ngoku, Carl DJ, Marshall Moore, Wooton Chubbs, <laughs> Wooten Chubbs, maybe, Denzel Emily, Traverius Chester, Ryan Presley, AJ Justice, Trayvon Kincaid, Kendall Terrence, and Brady Montana, along with Howard Woodson and Shadobi Abrams. The best free safety in all of the Woj FL is Minnie Farrell. Then you got Justin Braden, Tyler Prince, Kevin Richards, Jesse Gustin, Reese Matthews, Melton Jenkins, Jacob Martin, Marcus Wilmington, Austin Miles, Ant Antoine Gable, and Quandre Omar Overton. Omar Overton. Jimmy Alejandro. 
And the best strong safeties are Darnell Dawkins, Derwin Alonzo, Goal Line Gooch. <laughs> that name took me out. Okay. <laughs> Let's break the fourth wall for a second. I, uh, I haven't seen, I haven't seen a lot of these names. This is the first time I've seen them. I didn't know there was somebody named Goal Line Goot. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but it's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> he's my favorite player. We might have to make a trade for Goal Line Gooch. <laughs> Okay, compose yourself. Okay, Jordan Boyles, Bob Davidson, Keller Folks, Jamal Boba, Drew Bierman, Storm McKinley, Talanoa Joseph, Kyle Roberts, C.J. Johnson, Von Robinson, uh, Robinson, Cam Gavin, Marcus Boyd, Juice Thompson, Kyle N Nathaniel's. Yeah, I think that's how you say that. Jerron Walford, uh, Isaiah Welsh, Walter Black, Isaiah Teals, and the kickers. <laughs> He did it to me twice. <laughs> Sho Shoelace so <I'm> tight. <laughs> they did it to me twice. I thought I was only gonna break the one time with with Goal Line Gooch, but they got me again with Shoelace so tight. <laughs> okay, okay, focus, focus. They got me again. Then you got Jay Styles, Harry Dicker. Dicker the Kicker, who is our guy, Homie Presley, Max Gold, Justin Iverson, Daniel Winehouse, Winehausen, uh, Graham Gortez, Jake Gold, Matt Strait, Young Wei, not Zoku, not Zoku? Would it be not, not Zoku? I think that's how you would pronounce that. I don't know. I apologize. Jason Formiel, Evan Leon, Tyler Jenkins, Kaimi Barron, Matt, Avi Matt Aviator doesn't play for the Aviators. He played for the Snowhawks. Harrison Jackson, Eddie Cabezo, Chris Hoyer, Nick Paul, Greg Roke. So those are just some of the, the kickers. Best punter in the league is our punter, Michael Plummer, the Plummer Man. J.K. Rowling. Okay. A.J. Spikes, Tommy Sending, Ryan Omar, Johnny Palmer, Tress Ray. <laughs> Tress Ray Way. <laughs> Brian Davenport, Blake Clower, uh, or Clower, Thomas Bing. Bing. Corey Charbonnet, or Charbonneau, I think is how you, how it's Charbonneau, Mitch, Mitch, Florentino, Braden Minion, Michael Jackson, <laughs> Michael Jackson, <laughs> and he's a white guy, <laughs> oh, some of these names at the end are getting me, Jake Bramble, Rigoberto Har Harper, Bradley Dansby, Sam Raid, Cameron Damon, Riley Joetta, or Yoetta, I guess it could be. TK Tiller, hardly know her. Jakey Pierce, Ryan Rowland, Jamie Island, Jack Suarez, just to name a couple. So now you've met some of the best players in all of the Woj FL. Leave your comments down below, like I said before, for possible draft class inclusion. You would need to have the name you want to be put in there, the height, the weight, the position, and preferably the college you want to go to. So that's all the the base core attributes i would need for your submission into the woj fl draft classes so that's how it's gonna go also leave your comment down below for who some of your favorite players are around the league not just your favorite players from the orlando wizards but your favorite players from around the woj fl now that you've met every team and you've met every player, at least the important players, it's time to get to season number one. So next episode, we will debut the Woj FL and we will debut the Orlando Wizards. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I'm super, super excited. I hope you guys are too. If you're enjoying and you want to see more Woj FL content, hit this like button, subscribe to the channel for more, join the Juice Club, and welcome... Help me welcome in and usher in a new era of football, the Woj FL, World of Juice Football League. That's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for stopping and watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.